back to my channel. So today I want to do a Northern Light inspired painting. I'm going to say inspired because I haven't got a clue how to do this. I did put on a base of some dark colors on my canvas and I used a black pie from Blijswijk and I mixed in a little bit of petrol and I also put a little bit of the permanent blue violet and the Persian blue phthalo by Amsterdam in it just to create a nice dark base because this is a white canvas. I could have just bought a black canvas, but you know, I've had this laying around and I had something underneath that I didn't like, so I just painted over it. What I'll be using is the same colors, then I also have the Amsterdam Titanium White, and I've got some cute Pebeo colors. These are the iridescent green yellow, iridescent blue green, and iridescent violet blue. I think this is going to look really good as the colors for the Northern Light, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen anybody use these. So yeah, let's just go and try and experiment. So I put some of the colors on my wet palette. Uh, it's just a plastic container with a squishy uh, cleaning cloth with some water and some baking paper, non-grease baking paper on top. And I just squirted out some of the paint. And I have no plan whatsoever, but what I know is it's going to be mostly green. And I want it to come from this area and going a little bit like here. Probably shouldn't put it too close together. We have to remember we're going to brush it upwards. Let's just start with that and see how it looks. I'm going to use a really big fluffy brush and I've got a piece of paper I can wipe it off and this is dry. And let's just brush it up. Okay, so maybe I need a smaller dry brush to have a little bit more precision because now I've got a bunch of the green here. And I also think I might need to move a little bit quicker because it's gonna dry so let's try a smaller brush and pull it okay that's better so let's add a little bit of color first let's say a little bit of blue here and let's do just a slight bit of purple okay let's see how the white is going to look with it i could do this a lot faster if i wasn't so uh, specific in my placement so i'll just know you don't need to be i'm using acrylic paint but i do think um, probably an oil-based paint would look really good because that's actually um that will blend a lot better okay so what i think i want to do because i do like the look but i wish i had sort of a wash over it just to clean it up i'm gonna put a little bit of the Parisian blue phthalo and i might just bigger brush and just go over it so if you can see, it's looking a little bit worse for wear, this canvas. And that's because I washed it. I didn't like how it came out and I just want to try again. So I just washed it off, dried it. And I want to try and create what I was looking for. And I'm just going to start by adding the green. And I think I want to spray it just a little bit. So I'm just going to spray the top. Hopefully that's wet enough. I'm just going to pull the green up and clean my brush in between, like so. So I'm already getting a nice contrast. Let's add some white, pull it up. Let's just grab a smaller brush and see if I can just soften up the lines just a little bit. I don't want to be too harsh, but I also don't want to use the big brush because then I might just go over the other side too much. And this brush is a little bit damp. So I'm really liking how this is looking. So now I want to go and make a background and I thought about trying some mountains but I want to make a background first I think. So I want a little bit of a brighter color here. Uh, let's use some magenta and again I think I want to make sure that this part is a little bit wet. So I'm just going to spray it again. It's just lightly damp and the magenta is a transparent color so it shouldn't be too dark. And I think I'm I'm going to let that dry before I add my mountains otherwise the mountains are going to be pink instead of white. So it's dry and I want to try and use a palette knife for the mountains. I've never done this before so let's just see. So I think you just grab like a little, little goes a long way and I need to, I need to think about a shadow and a non-shadow side. So I actually wanted to do shadow on this side so I'm probably gonna have to try and pull it this way. So let's hope that this goes well. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Uh, not hating it, but it'll look better. I'm gonna put some trees in here somewhere. Just want to get the mountains in here. Okay, so I want to make a little bit of a shadow, but I want to do it in blue. It would make so much more sense to make the shadow on this side, but I'm committed. 
I'm just going to go with what I want it. It's looking not too bad. I'm sorry if you can hear the kids playing. My neighbor's kids are home and they are jumping around like crazy. And it's almost, um, it's December. So also we have a lot of kids here using fireworks. I think I'm gonna change my shadow side, but I am still gonna use the blue on here. How does that look? I think they look like mountains. So now I want to soften this up a little bit and i think i'm gonna use a little bit of a darker color the parisian blue for this so i don't know what i was expecting this to do but not what i not doing what i wanted probably my mistake just want to soften it up and again if i make a mistake here i'm just gonna spray my my brush and i'm just going to rub it away it's still wet so you can do that and let's make this just black just straight up black because we need a horizon for our trees. So what's up next? I actually want to make some little strokes like so, like they are like far away trees. Then I want to try something I've never tried before and that's make some Bob Ross inspired trees. I got a lot of old brushes. I actually got from one of my father's uncles and if you can see this is actually a Bob Ross fan brush it's not in the best condition but it's actually a Bob Ross and I never owned one before and it was just in my my stash so here goes nothing just gonna go for black this feels really weird and as you can see I have some weird lines in the canvas where I cleaned it so I'm guessing that a tree is going to live here Nope, that's not enough paint. So let me get more paint. So these brushes are soaking up a lot of paint. It's a good thing to know. I don't want any blobs, but I do want some paint coming off. And I think he just goes dab, dab in the best. Uh, is it the wrong way? Maybe more, maybe this way. Pull it up a little bit more. That looks like a tree, right? Just, just say yes. Yes, Randy, it looks like a tree. And let's do that on this side. Dab a little. Okay, let's do one more tree right here. We've got a tree. I think we're done. I might add a little bit of snow to the trees, but not when they're wet, because then it's just going to be gray. But there you go. It took me three times to get this right, but I'm really loving it. So here we have it, Northern Lights. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone.